Bill Cosby, The Avengers, and a nuclear meltdown are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is April 26, 2021. It is the 116th day of the year. We got 249 days left. It is the 17th Monday in the 18th week and the 38th day of spring. There's 56 days until summer. And today is World Immunization Week, which is kind of ironic. Everyone's getting immunized right now. World Immunization Week seeks to promote vaccines as effective way to protect people against disease. This day aims to educate and inform the public about the benefits of vaccinations. Vaccinations can help protect against serious illnesses like measles, polio, COVID-19 these days. This day also aims to increase trust amongst the public for vaccines. World Immunization Week was established in 2012 by the World Health Organization. All right, let's see what else happened on April 26th. 1865, Union cavalry troops corner and shoot dead John Wilkes Booth, the assassin of President Abraham Lincoln in Virginia. Now, what's interesting about this, I always thought this was really strange. Years before John Wilkes Booth shot President Lincoln, his brother saved President Lincoln's younger son from being hit by a train. Yeah, it's kind of weird. 1945, World War II, Filipino troops of the 66th Infantry Regiment of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and the American troops from the 33rd and the 37th Division are liberated at Baguio in the Philippines. Then they get guns and start fighting the Japanese right afterwards under General Tomoyuki Yamashita. 1956, the SS Ideal X, or 10, however you want to call it, the world's first successful container ship, leaves Port Newark in New Jersey for Houston, Texas. I find that hard to believe. I thought container ships were around a lot earlier than 1956. Kind of cool. 1962, NASA's Ranger 4 spacecraft crashes into the moon. Broke up into a million little pieces, I imagine. 1966, the magnitude 5.1 Tashkent earthquake affects the largest city in Soviet Central Asia, which is in Uzbekistan. This had a maximum MSK intensity of 7, which is very strong. Tashkent is mostly destroyed and 15 to 200 people are killed. I don't know how they have that big of a gap, but yeah, 15 to 200, that seems kind of strange. 1986, the Chernobyl disaster occurs in the Ukraine Soviet Socialist Republic. Yeah, everybody knows about Chernobyl. Nobody lives there still to this day. That is a freaky thing. There's plenty of videos online. People went in and took drone photos and video and all kinds of good stuff about the area around Chernobyl. It's worth taking a look at. Um, I put video up here, but I don't like my videos getting demonetized. 2005, under international pressure, Syria withdraws the rest of its 14,000 troop military garrison in Lebanon, ending the 29-year-old military domination of the country. Yeah, Syria occupied them for far too long. Lebanon's always been a little bit of a nightmare, at least in most of our lifetime. I had a friend that actually, he's an Israeli soldier, and he served there for a few years. Two thousand eighteen, comedian Bill Cosby is found guilty of sexual assault. What's really strange about this? People in Hollywood knew that Bill Cosby was a freak for many years. He used to brag about drugging and attacking women, and he didn't call it rape or attack or anything like that. He just thought it was sex to them. And as all this came out, a lot of them were all, "Yeah, he used to say that stuff," and I thought he was kind of kidding, but apparently he wasn't. This man actually had the nerve, knowing he was doing all this stuff, and he had some kids out of wedlock that nobody knew about at the time. He used to call other comedians, black comedians usually, and talk to them about how their jokes were bringing down the race and just it was bad. He called Chris Rock one time and told him a not to tell some jokes that he had. And Chris Rock said he was respectful. I mean, it's Bill Cosby, American dad. So we thought at the time, this was probably in the late eighties, mid nineties, somewhere in there. And he said he listened to him and you know, said he'd work on it and things like that. But he said after he hung up the phone, he was like, man, screw that old man. What the hell is he talking about? And then as you know, Bill Cosby's life started to unravel with first, I think it was one of his love kids came forward and then another one. And then all of a sudden he hits the press with all this crazy stuff about drugging women and attacking them. Man, who would have thought Bill Cosby was that? That's, you know, Mr. Huxtable. He's a jello pudding dude. And he's out doing that to women. It's, you know, I almost used the F word right there, but it's just gross. When you're a star like that, you know, there's plenty of women that would be willing to do that. Willing, you know, because you're a star. I'm not saying that's right. That's just the way the world is. And this dude's got to go out and drug women. What the?
I don't understand it. So Bill Cosby is in prison right now. He was convicted of three counts of aggravated indecent assault. His earliest release date could be September 25th of this year, 2021. Why is he getting out that early? He was found guilty on April 26, 2018, and he's getting out of prison in 2021, possibly. I mean, that's the earliest he can get out. Weird case. Unsettling. Movies released on April 26, 2019. Marvel Studios' blockbuster film The Avengers Endgame is released, becoming the highest grossing film of all time, surpassing the previous box office record of Avatar. And then, just recently, Avatar decided to do some sleazy stuff and tried to say, no, they're getting ready to promote Avatar 2. They re-released Avatar into theaters in like China and a couple other places because Endgame didn't beat them by that much. So they were trying to regain the top spot again. So now if you look at the list of the highest grossing films in box office history, there's Avatar there with a little asterisk. And if you know anything about the asterisk, when it comes to ranking something, that usually means somebody cheated. You know what? All you need to know is Marvel's Avengers, the greatest movie ever. Maybe not the greatest, but the highest earning. Born on April 26th, 1980, Channing Tatum, American actor and producer. Tatum made his film debut in the drama film Coach Carter. He was also in Magic Mike, 21 Jump Street, and a bunch more. He's actually a pretty good actor. I kind of like the dude. Shows up, plays a good role. Died on April 26th, 2017. We lost Jonathan Demme, American filmmaker, producer, and screenwriter. He began his career under B-movie producer Roger Corman. If you've ever seen Roger Corman movies, they are like low budget, just these movies they used to put in the theaters in the 70s and 80s uh, when nothing else was out. It, they were just always bad but entertaining. He went on to direct movies such as Melvin and Howard, Swing Shift, which was great, Something Wild, which I love. That one had Melanie Griffith and Jeff Daniels, Ray Liotta. If you ever get a chance, watch that movie. It's really good. Uh, Married to the Mob, Silence of the Lambs, Philadelphia, Beloved, The Manchurian Candidate, and Rachel Getting Married, which I found entertaining. Not a lot of people did, but I did. He died at the age of 73 due to esophageal cancer and heart disease. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go forth, have a successful day. I'm sorry I've been a little inconsistent with these videos. Was a little under the weather last week or so, and other people were around the house, so we couldn't put out as many videos as we normally do. All right, everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.